Little is known about the life of Euclid of Alexandria. His birthplace is debated, however it is known that he was born circa 330 BCE and died at age 70 in Alexandria, Egypt. It is said that Euclid studied in Plato's ancient school in Athens. He then taught in Alexandria at the time of Ptolemy. Euclid's vital contribution to mathematics was to compile the concepts of prior mathematicians into a series of books, Elements. This work later became known as Euclidean geometry. In the text, mathematics is formatted axiomatically. A number of axioms, or mathematical statements, were assumed at the beginning of the book, and the information following is derived logically from these axioms. Elements consists of 13 books with a collection of definitions, postulates and proofs, covering Euclidean geometry and the ancient Greek number theory. It is considered one of the most influential works in the history of mathematics, as well as the most influential non-religious book of all time. From the time of its publication until the late 19th century, it served as a crucial textbook for teaching mathematics. Much of the information it contains still forms a part of many high school geometry curricula. Euclid was influential in his work for the way he explained geometry and logic, as well as his demand for proof of every theorem, so much so that the foundations he laid in the field of geometry allowed later mathematicians to use and develop these axioms. There is a long list of mathematicians who further developed Euclidean geometry. Apollonius and Archimedes developed upon his concepts in the years following his death. More recently, Descartes and Newton presented their works using Euclid's format, progressing from the first principles to more complicated concepts. Newton in particular was strongly influenced by Euclid during his studies at Cambridge, adopting the structure Euclid gave to geometrical knowledge to develop mechanics. Euclid gave axioms and postulates, Newton produced three laws of motion. He also used elements as the template for organising his knowledge in Principia Mathematica. Elements, as well as its immense impact on geometry, inspired logical thinking in fields other than mathematics. For example, Abraham Lincoln carried a copy of the text with him, studying it in order to become a better lawyer. Furthermore, the United States Declaration of Independence mimics the structure of elements, opening with axioms and using deductive reasoning to justify forming an independent country. In mathematics, statements are accepted as fact only if they can be logically deduced from other statements known to be true. It is with such axioms that the foundation for geometry were laid. The reason Euclid is referred to as the father of geometry. From this basis, he built the theory of plane geometry, which has shaped mathematics for centuries. Many fundamental tasks in mathematics such as trigonometry, graphing and graph theory are performed in the two-dimensional Euclidean space. With Descartes' introduction of coordinates, a new era for geometry had been marked as geometric figures could now be represented as functions, which led to the emergence of calculus in the 17th century. Through Euler and Gauss's examination of geometric objects in their structures, the creation of topology and differential geometry occurred. More recent physical theories such as string theory and general relativity are also geometric in nature and have radically transformed the concept of space.